Okay, so the goal for this little video is to walk you through the process of installing the latest development version of RuneStone components and building your first book. Okay, the, the process has gotten a little bit more complicated than before because we're now packaging up all of our JavaScript files into one bundle uh, using the Webpack tool. Um, very commonly used in the JavaScript development world but uh, it's definitely new for us. So I've just spun up a brand new uh, Ubuntu 20.04 server. Uh, the last command I did was to install npm. All right, and npm is the node package manager, and that is the tool that we will need um, in order to run our builds and, and do the things that we need to do with the in terms of creating the runestone.js bundled file. So we've got that installed, so let's make a working directory here, and we'll go ahead and clone the components. So that'll clone them into a folder called runestone components. And once that's done, then we'll change into the runestone folder. And we will check out the webpack branch. That's where the current development is on. Uh, you'll be able to skip this step um, shortly um, once we've released all of this. You'll know that you're on the, in the right place because you will see both a package.json and a webpack.config.js file in the folder. Uh, you'll notice that those files just appeared after we checked out the webpack branch. So now that we've got that, we can just run the npm install command. That'll read all the required packages from package lock and install all of the JavaScript pieces that we need. Okay, so now we've got that. Uh, if we look at, look at this again, now you'll notice another new um, folder has appeared, the node underscore modules folder. That's where the local installation of all the JavaScript libraries that we need are. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a virtual environment for ourselves so we can install RuneStone components themselves um, in our development mode. Uh, so to do that, we have to do an apt install uh, python3 env. So that's the standard virtual environment there. And now we can just say python3 minus mvenv, and we'll create our virtual environment in dot virtual envs slash, and we'll call this components. All right, and now we'll activate that. We'll activate it. We can see it. it's activated by the additional prompt. All right, and now that we've activated that virtual environment, we will just install everything that we need here. So pip install minus e dot says install this directory uh, in development mode. So if you're editing files, uh, it'll always use whatever the latest version of the file you've edited in when you're, when you're uh, building books and, and doing development work. All right, uh, since we're doing development, we'll also go ahead and install minus r requirements dash dev dot txt. So that's a few other things for testing and development that aren't needed if you're just gonna build a book, but if you actually wanna work on developing the components, you'll need to install that. Okay, so we've got all that. Now we can just do npm run build. And this will go ahead and make our runestone.js file. So that's all good. 
Uh, we can see that in dist, in runestone slash dist. You can see that we've got that runestone.js file built in there. All right, so we should be good. So now we'll go ahead and uh, clone a book. So let's get clone the CS Awesome book. GitHub.com. That's Beryl Hoffman's book. And APCSA 2019.git. cd into that folder we'll see we've got what we need there's our pavement.py we've got our comp.py so all we need to do now is just run runestone build minus minus all we'll get a few database errors since we don't have our database set up and configured but uh, that doesn't matter for now if all we're doing is wanting to build and and test uh, books that we're writing All right, build successful. Uh, if the build is successful, we should have our build folder. And there we see it. Build folder CS Awesome. There's all the chapters. So that's all good. So there you go. From a clean environment, we've installed the RuneStone components, set up our node development environment, and built our first book.